Well, today we are going to be making um, a picture to go with um, the Mecca the Alpaca book that was read today. How gorgeous is that? Doesn't it look so cute? <laughs> look at the maraca, the maraca's colours at the back um, behind Mecca, that's Mecca. And um, yeah, it looks really cool. Ben. Right. To start with, I want you to point to the middle of your book or the middle of your page, right? So that's about where we're going to start um, Macca's head. So this line here is going to be, see how it's in the middle of the page? So point to the middle of your page and then just do a line straight across the middle. So we're drawing really lightly because if you need to um, rub something out because you've made a little bit of a mistake, you can... Um, you won't see it. All right, so we're going to use that line now and curve down the edges all the way to the bottom of the page. Now let's make this a little bit more curvy and less like a box. And then if you like, grab your rubber and tidy up some of those lines that you don't want. All right, next thing, get your tin of tuna. Um, stick it a little bit down remember you've got to keep space for the eyes and for the eyes we're going to use the, the glue stick I'll just take the lid off because it'll be a bit easier and so sort of imagine where you're going to put your eyes and try not to put your snout down here and your eyes up here because that's going to look real funny so try to put your nose your snout sorry in the middle so a big gap at the top and a big gap down the bottom here. Get ready, just trace very lightly your snout. Then stick an eye in there. Trace an eye. Now, my famous eye test is templates. There's nothing wrong with using a template to draw a circle. It's actually very, very hard, even for famous artists, to draw a perfect circle. All right, so then let's draw the um, eyelashes. One. to do is a great big smiley face like that then you're going to do a cute little tongue sticking out and then a nice straight line in the middle don't take it up all the way to the top take it up a little bit more than halfway and then you're going to do a little curl so do a candy cane cute little candy cane now let's go back to the eyes Let's do a big, big circle in the middle of each eye. Really big, but not too big. You want to have a gap here. And then, just to make these eyes look like they're really glistening, do a little one up there and a little circle up here as well. And this bit of the eyeball later on you'll be colouring in black. So we want to make the eyebrows look um, look furry. So fur is, is texture so we want to make um, this llama look like it's got texture and we call that implied texture and sometimes eyebrows go big 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 small 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 so we do that too big 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 small 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 like that lovely 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 and then we want to sort of give this guy a little bit of a head so we'll sort of do you can do that if you like just to give you an idea and then draw some implied texture which is the fur implied means we're pretending that it looks like fur now ideally you should be doing this all in a black marker it's so much quicker but i know you guys just want to have a perfect piece of art so go ahead use a pencil in that way then you can just rub it out all right <clears throat> now that's your ears all right now we're going to do the eyes now we're going to do the eyes and we're going to do a little bit of a curl so do a point sort of above that eye and then a point above this eye kind of close to the top and then we're going to make big fat ears. So bring that one down nice and wide. And bring that one down nice and wide as well. Make sure there's a bit of a gap. Yeah, well, he's looking a bit like a cat, this guy today. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh dear, I wonder why he looks more like a cat. Let's keep going. Maybe by the time we're finished, he'll be looking better. Oh, Mrs. Day, what are you doing? Okay, if you end up with cat's ears, that's okay. Turn it into something beautiful. Make it them a bit skinnier. See now, oh, that's a little bit better. Now he doesn't look quite like a cat. And then on the inside, just add a little curvy line. That looks, that kind of makes it look like the inside of Macca's ear. 
and then we're going to also do some implied texture here so to get the implied deck we're going to do them a little bit curvy make it look like he's got cute little furry ears do the texture on the outside if you do it on uh, sorry on the inside so add your little bits of texture and then for the inside of his ears I'm going to kind of draw a little triangle shape there and a little triangle shape there which will kind of be blacked out later and then do some fur coming out you could even do some fur coming out here and then what you'll need to do is outline it in your black Once you've finished that, you can get your rubber, wait for your texture to dry a little bit and rub out all your pencil. Remember what we do in class, we activate the paint and we do that by swizzling 17 times. And you might, I like to actually use a big fat brush to get the water in there to make it nice and watery. And I swizzle it around enough times to make it nice and light. Actually, what I sometimes do if I don't, I don't want the dark, want that to be too dark. See, that's really too dark for what I want. So to make it lighter, to give it some lighter value, let's add a bit more water. Because remember, if we add water, just plain water to a colour, it will make it lighter. You can even try this without using any colour. Because I tell you something cool, if you've just used an ordinary texture and plain water, your texture will bleed and this is see that what I've done there is just plain water and my texture is bleeding try not to rub too much on the paper because you will end up causing pilling pilling is when the paper goes all sort of bitty <laughs> now because I'm doing a big area bigger area I'm going to switch up to a bigger paintbrush right now see that bigger paint brush for bigger areas now just be very careful not to do your tongue because you want to paint that one red so I'm going to go back to my little paintbrush and just paint in the small section underneath I'm going to activate some llama coloured paint and I'm going to make it really watery because when you have it watery like really watery the paint will sort of bleed oh well, that's probably a bit too much probably so you can just add a little bit of highlight in there just adding a little bit of grey and see I'm not really getting rid of the really getting rid of the um, yellow kind of just blending it in a little bit some some artists call that scumbling if you scumble it in like that that's kind of like a version of scumbling so I do I'll do the same down here so it kind of blends in a little bit more so that it doesn't look like we have one big line of you know what I mean make it look a little bit like it's all fur blending out together see that that's kind of called scumbling try to wait for that bit to dry a little bit before you do his lips and then paint his lips in red like I've done I won't do that now because I want that to dry and I want to get on with the rest of the video and we're going to try to make the background look like the maracas in the story so I'm going to start with a green and I'm just going to use an oil pastel but you can use a crayon if you want and what we're going to kind of create here is what's called a water resist so the crayons and the oil pastels are oily so they will resist the water so you'll watch what will happen when the water paints try to touch the oily oil pastels the water kind of runs away so let's just do a couple of different lines of cool patterns 
Um, then I'm going to do orange because that looks cool. Zigzag lines. Start with the green, activate the paint, and then just paint straight across. See how we don't lose our crayon. I'm not going to do orange because I'm going to give that a little bit of time to dry. So try not to do the next color. Try to skip a few colors. And you know what? Another thing that I'm doing, I'm trying to do the darker colors first. More paint. Now when you're doing right up to the line, be careful if it's wet because you'll get you'll end up with a green line if you're mixing oopsie doopsie mixing uh, blue and yellow, it'll go green. So try not to overlap the colours. Again, probably should wait a little bit between layers. But see how make actually try not to have any white gaps. Oopsie doopsie, I went over the blue. Never mind. That happens, but it still actually looks all right, doesn't it? This is the one that I did earlier, and that's all dried. Get your alpaca that you did before and cut him out. Once you've cut it out, and I'd also recommend that you don't cut it out while it's wet. Make sure it's completely dry. Otherwise, it makes it very difficult, and it will tear very easily. So have patience. Wait for it to dry. Now, what you'll find sometimes, some of you have cut out so that you can see some little white gaps. So see how there's, I don't know if you can see there, there's a little bit of white there. So I'm just gonna get the texture and go over that little edgy bit. Same with um, here. It's folding up a little bit, curling up a bit because it got wet from the paint. And see this bit here, you can't see my texture lines anymore. So nothing wrong with just going over that again. Um, so anywhere where there's a little bit of white that you cut out a little bit poorly or any areas that you want to redefine. Learned from that mistake, didn't I? Should have known better. Alright, and any areas that you want to go over, just redo with the black pen. And we kind of lost some of this cool, very stuff, so I'm going to kind of just redo that again. Alright, and then I'm going to also go over the bottom here so we'll put glue all over the back of the alpaca and then I'm not going to glue it up in the middle I'm going to try and line up the bottom of the alpaca with the bottom of the page so I'm going to put it glue it down like that and then voila you have your beautiful alpaca with the maracas type background Beautiful. So I can't wait to see your pictures, take some photos and send them through to the school. Can't wait.